to Meso, possibly his last image, 32 gigabyte. This is a updated image, so you know it's going to be good. And it's retro by 4.4, so those with the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, this is one of the first images fully loaded at the 32 gigabyte size for that particular Pi. So for those of you who are going to eventually upgrade or have already upgraded to the 1.4 gigahertz Raspberry Pi, this is the 32 for you. Alright, first thing booting up, you might notice this beautiful showcase theme. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, Futura and Showcase are the two main on here. This is RetroPie version 4.4, and in addition to the, ret the custom RetroPie, he has a bunch of collections on here, but also he has the Easy Hacks toolkit already in installed for you, and he does have Amiga. You typically don't see a lot of Amigas out there, but he has the Auto Amiga install script. Also, if you go into Easy Hacks, you got the idiot add video splash screens, reset your controllers, Nintendo 64 tweaks, overscan, enable, disable, setting up an aim, aim track light gun script, um, update your, your toolkit, and the Zinmo two player controller. I know a lot of people out there like this because if you're running the Zinmo decoder board, this comes in handy a lot. Uh, as we're speaking about um, versions and things like that, I have heard that the Amiga is on version 2.14 and there's a newer version 2.19, so you might want to update that, as well as the Amiga is stretched to the 16.9 ratio, where if you want the uh, 4.3 or something else, you would need to go in and change that. Uh, so some little fixes if you're really into the uh, Amiga. Speaking of Amiga, let's just start there, huh? Since it's getting all this attention, Amiga 99 games, so you got some cool games in here. Uh, moving along, Atari 2600, 505, 7861, Atari Lynx Portables, you got 85, Coley, Co, Vision, you got over 100, 140, Dreamcast, you got Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Mortal Kombat Gold, Soul Calibur, and Royal Rumble. Th those all will run on the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, no problem. You can overclock to 1.5 if you wish to get even better results, but those games will run on this little Raspberry Pi. Final Burn Alpha, only 124, but looks like there's some of the favorites. These are the really common games that everyone likes to play. So let's do a quick um, up and down. Really cool, both these games right here. The the Dodon Pachi, really good shoot 'em up. And then they have the original too. They got three versions, nice. Um, oh, this is also a really good shoot 'em up. So some really good shoot 'em ups. Gunbird's really great as well. JoJo's really good fighting games. Uh, Demeso typically really likes shoot 'em ups, wrestling games, and fighting games, and like karate, uh, boxing. You can or and, and sports as well. I find that he really has a lot of that stuff. But he also has all the classics as well. So that's going to be your CPS one, two, and three games. Some of them, and then some other Final Burn Alpha favorites. Family Computer Disk System 144. Game and Watch 54. Those are those little handheld systems. Game Gear 228, Game Boy 505, Game Boy Advance only 59. So he only has Banjo Kazooie, Batman, F Zero, Harvest, Mario Kart, Party, Metroid, and Mortal Kombat, Pokemon, Sonic, Super Mario, WWE, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, let's go ahead and launch a game because I think this one has the bezels installed on it. So let's go ahead and check the bezels. Let's do uh, F Zero. So we launch it. Oh, cool. Custom launching screen. So it looks like we have custom boot screens for the different games. That one said F0 if you missed it. And then awesome. So he has the bezel. Um, it's slightly stretched, but not much. Like this is a good this is a good way to play this game. So a little bit larger. And I can see what the game. Select your mode. Alright, start select out. Um my sound is probably super loud. Yes, sorry about that. And uh, so you got the bezels there with Game Boy Color. Let's go ahead and check the bezels on Game Boy Color. So you got the standard Game Boy Color launch screen. And there you go. You got a nice little Game Boy here. And you can change the aspect ratio if you'd like. <clears throat> and now we're playing 1942. In 2018. Alright, nice loop de loo there.
Come on, send me something a little more hard. Oh yeah, power, power ups. That's what it's all about, those power ups. Alright, cool. So, let's get out of here. That was working good. <clears throat> Mame Arcade 626. So, a lot of great titles here as well. And again, this guy, you know, he usually goes for the games he really likes. So, as I mentioned, sports, boxing, shoot 'em ups, but there's still some puzzle games and some other games in here as well. So, for those people that like, like, the best of images, this is definitely one to consider in that, you know, Darkstalkers, nice. Uh, in that there's a lot of great games on here, especially like really popular games. You know, like Donkey Kong, Double Dragon, Darkstalkers, uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Um, a lot of the games we're seeing here. So I'm going to kind of hard scroll through here so you can just kind of see that it's still nicely loaded with... Uh, a good amount of games on here. Rampage, Robocop, uh, Snow Bros, Super Street Fighter, The Simpsons, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it had both. Um, X-Men, WWF, finishing off. And it looks like all the artwork was here, guys. I didn't see it miss a single one. So all the artwork. Are there video snaps? No video snaps, so just the artwork. Cool. Sega Master System 138. Sega Genesis, so it's the American Genesis. And it looks like all the box art says Genesis as well. What I notice is some people like mix... Okay, there you go. There's a Mega Drive. Some people mix Mega Drive with Genesis box art. But it's cool to see that it says Genesis and most of the box art is Genesis as well. Okay, so far it's looking really good. It's nice to um, to get a 32 gigabyte with um, without video snaps because you can just fit so much more on it, um, which is great. Speaking of space... Let me open my file location over here. And this is the Meso Ultimate 32 gigabyte final no inputs.img file. It is unzipped to start. It is 28.5 gigabytes and it is 30,668,919,000 bytes. Okay. If you're interested in that one, Arcade Punks has it. Nintendo 64, 19 games. So I can tell you all these games run. So far, yes, 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 and yes. So a full collection of N64 that's going to run just fine. Uh, Neo Geo 144, Nintendo 969. Okay, so it does come with Famicom translations. I was like, that seems kind of high. So it does come with the folder here with Famicom translations in there. Games like Armadillo, Astro Fang, and some good ones. Neo Geo Pocket 6, Neo Geo Pocket Color 37, TurboGrafx 16, 145. Ports, you got Doom 1 and Doom 2. PSP, you got 12. Thank you for including 321 Super Crash. <laughs> such, such, a, such a clean, easy game. Um, Days of Thunder, Earth, Earth Shield, I Must Run, Ninja, Ninja Murray, One Epic Game, Pac-Man Championship, The Terminator, Touch Racing Nitro. Twin Blades. Touch Racing Nitro is pretty cool. It's a good game. And then Zombie Racers. Uh, PlayStation. 12 games. Batman Forever, Capcom vs. SNK, Castlevania, Ein Hander, which is Shoot'em Up, Guilty Gear, MK Trilogy, NBA, um, we got Hot Blooded Family, NFL Blitz, NHL Rock the Rink, Street Fighter EX2+, Plus, and Tekken 3. Retro Pie Setup. Sega 32X, 31. Sega CD, 14 games. So these are the 14, Sonic CD, WWF, Rage in the Cage, SG-1068, Super Nintendo 886, so you do have some English uh, translations on the Super Famicom, like Sailor Moon, etc. And then you have all your classic Super Nintendo games as well. Star Fox 2 is on there as well. Star Fox 1 and 2. Vetrix 21, nice to see Virtual Boy 19, Wonder Swan Color 19. So now it's uh, Batman, so all the different Batman games for all the different systems. Pretty cool to see the evolution of the games. Castlevania, same thing on all the different systems. And the CPS 1, 2, and 3 for you. Donkey Kong games. Great stuff. You can see the evolution as well. Family Computer Disk System, uh, so another, or Family Computer System, another one, 115. Final Fantasy is a collection. Oh, and then we do have some hack games as well. For the Mega Drive, 
Kingdom Fighters games, Mario games, Mega Man, Mortal Kombat, and Nintendo hacks. So there are some Nintendo hacks on here as well, like Deadpool, D-Pad Hero. <laughs> we got to try that out. And PC Engine CD-ROM. Okay, we got Castlevania on there. Super Famicon 123. Super Nintendo hacks. You got some there. Sonic, Star Wars, Street Fighter, Super Graphics. You got five. Ninja Turtles, Wrestling, and Zelda Collection. And then Custom should be, yeah, DeMeso Picks. Oh, this is nice. So he has his own picks of games to play. Nice to see. Cool. That's always fun, right, is to check out what somebody chooses to do. So I'll have to, I'll have to play with some of these. I, so some of the games I haven't played much is this one. I haven't played much of this, Tiny Toon Adventure for NES. Played all these. Played Tapper. I don't think I've ever played this. Um, played it. Yes, love it. Played it, played it. Super Mario Forever Frustration. Okay, that does not sound fun, but I'll try it out. Super C, Great Game. Super Back to the Future Part 2. Never played this. Uh, Sunset Riders, Great Game. Streets of Rage 2, cool. Saturday Night Slam Masters. I know he really likes wrestling, so I haven't played that one. I bet it's good. Pac-Man, Nibbler, a lot of these I haven't played before. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, great game, highly recommended. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, great game, highly recommended. Recommend, 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 recommend. Uh, some of these I haven't spent a lot of time on. Double Dragon, great. Oh, I went over one. Uh, okay, so I wanted to try the frustrating Mario. Hold on, let's finish the thing here. NES Mini, SNES Mini, and then all games... A total of 6,349, okay? And the favorites are cleared for you already. So let's go back in here, DeMesa's picks. Let's try, we were going to try the um, Super Mario Forever Frustration, NES. And I was also very interested to see the Guitar Hero for, <laughs> for NES. I don't think I've ever played that hack either. So here we go, one player. Whatever that means, sure. Are you serious? Did I just die? All right. Is this a joke? Like... Okay, let me try one more. All right, one more. I'll go to the left. Is this like a, a thing that you, is just, you can't win? Down, down, up, 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 down, down, left, right, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. That didn't work either. Okay, I... Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. I think I gotta go online to check that one out. I kind of want to check this out. D-pad hero. I want to be the D-pad hero. So I'm guessing this is like guitar hero type of thing. A shocker of a rocker. D-pad hero. Yeah, we'll be Slash. Play. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh man. The thing is I have my A and my B reverse right now. Pretty cool. <clears throat> it's actually quite difficult because you have to do up, down, left, right, and the A, B button at the same time. That's pretty cool. Nice. Uh, let's go back. Um, <clears throat> right on. I'm going to have to give this one an A. Um, as I mentioned, there's some purists on the Amiga that I was just looking at the forum and people were talking about. But other than that, it's got a ton of games. Almost 7K games on a 32 gigabyte. I mean, we've seen way bigger, but this is kind of the best of. This guy isn't just stuffing every single game he possibly can on the, uh, on the image itself. He should have some extra gigabytes worth of space as well. And it's uh, well sorted out. He has a great theme. And as you saw this whole video, like this this image is just really quick and, and, and streamlined. So I think it's a great starter image for you. And uh, I really like the addition. My personal favorite things about this image are that, uh, you know, it's not everything 
it's it's kind of his best of. And in addition to that, you can go to that custom collections over here and uh, you know see what his picks are. And like it's his way of like you should try out these games. And I got to tell you right now that out of all these games, you're gonna find a oh, demon front. Awesome, awesome. Out of all these games, you're gonna find some killer classics. So. If you just getting into retro gaming, or even you've been in it a long time, these are all games you should play at least once. Um, they are fun as heck. So, with all that said, a like it, like it, like it. That's just what I think, though. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.